What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to look at the latest photo from Curiosity Rover. It's from Sol 3345. Now, this was taken on the 3rd of January, so obviously the most recent. Now, when you see this, there's a couple things that grabbed my eyes right away and I went, wow, this may be the proof we've been looking for, for some kind of destruction on Mars. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Let's just jump right into it. Here's the photo right here. You can see it is Sol 3345, left navigation cam, or nav cam. And you can see this image was taken by left navigation camera on board NASA's Mars Rover Curiosity on Sol 3345. And you can see it's the beginning of this year. It is uh, January 3rd. It was taken at 2.42 p.m. UTC time. Image credit goes to NASA, JPL, and Caltech. Now, folks, you can download it right here. It is a 1024 by 1024 image. It is a JPEG, not the best photo. So I do my best to clean this thing up. Now, I put it through different darkness and try to brighten up and try to get the maximum details out of here. And I think you guys are going to agree, this is insane. When I saw this picture right off the bat, I was like, wow, this is cool. I think the thing that grabbed my eyes the most was this small mound. But look at the straight lines in the mound, folks. Look at that. That's crazy, right? One here, one here. Folks, wait until we bring the lines out of this, as well as this part here on the left. All right, let's take this into Photoshop and see what we can find. All right, here is the photo. It was actually this size, blew it up much bigger so that we can really zoom into this and see what kind of details we can get out of it, right? Now check this out, for a random hill, doing this. I see another line coming down like this. At least that's the way it looks at first. Okay, I'm seeing this. I'm going, okay, there's something going across. Something here. There's another line, at least it looks like that from the original photo. This right here. Check out this area right there. Looks like it's doing this. Coming down, going like this, and then it has a small hole or black or darker detail. Okay. So let's see what we can do with that. Let's see if we can bring some of this out. Okay, so right off the bat, we start bringing more and more of these lines out, and you can see that right there. Okay, you can see this right here going, taking a curve. And folks, like I said, look at now, there's another line to this thing right here going like this, and you can see it going down and then going like this. You folks see that? Let's just back that out. See that? Right there? We didn't see that earlier, but this is what I'm saying. If you burn this stuff, you will find it. It's as simple as that, right? So again, let's go ahead and bring it back out. So when you see these other lines, like in here, right here like this, you can see what looks like these other little pieces in here. I'm gonna do this in a different color, but that's fine. Right here. And like I said, you can see these other parts coming down like this. Folks, this could actually be mechanical, okay? Now let's back out of this. This is what really caught my eye, was this part right here. Okay, folks, don't do a thing to this photo, watch this. You can see it right there, I put it back to normal, right here. This is absolutely the raw photo. Now let me show you something interesting. I noticed right off the bat, this thing's doing this. Okay, notice if we zoom in, look at some of the other pieces right here. We got looks like something almost square right here overhanging, overhanging. We've got this right here. Okay, and you can see these pieces right here. You can see something going like this, coming down. And then you see the other side of this. Folks, what is the first thing that came to your mind when you've seen this? A blown apart structure. That to me looks like it's been blown to pieces. This, on this side, right here, I think that's something mechanical or another structure. Perhaps it came out of this pure speculation. But when I see that, and I see this opening in here, this so looks like it's been blown to pieces. 
So let's put it through some darkness and some brightness, see if we can pull out anything out, shall we? Okay. We can see over here, suddenly there's other straight lines. There's other lines here. You can see them right here. Straight lines coming down. Let's see what else we can find in here, because this is pretty interesting. You see something doing this, and you can see something white right there. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see this well, but right here, there's actually almost three of these. There's one, looks like there's something else right here, but it also looks like it has some kind of weird square with a circle right there. You see that? Right there? Folks, what are we looking at here? When you see this part here, it looks like it's doing this. And you'll see something almost looks like it's doing this. Whatever this thing is, I think they're pots. I think all of this debris came out of this structure, machine, whatever disguise it as. Let's suppose for a moment, like I said in my last video, that they built into buttes, mountains, and so on and so forth. Is it possible that this area got bombed and this is what we're seeing? Okay, let's keep going. Again, we have these other lines. You can see them right here. You start to see a faded one right here going down like this, going back up, going like this. You've got this piece doing this. We now have this other piece up here. You can see that nice round circle. Is that really in the photo though, folks? It absolutely is. But what they did was they blended it to almost look like the background. See this right here? And you can see the actual piece right there. See it? All right. Now, let's keep going. Change it up a little bit. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, folks, have a look at this. Here's the right pile here, if you will. Look at the pieces in this. This, to me, in no way is this natural. Not going to happen. Not the way this thing is made or put together, what have you. I don't know what to make of this thing, not sure what it is. It's either mechanical or some kind of structure, whatever it may be, right? All right, so we'll back out. And folks, check this thing out now. This, this is cool too. This is amazing. Again, we're looking at this area right here. All these little bits and stuff like that, these sharp edges. Going down like this. All these, all these craggly bits. You got this right here. And look at the front of this. It actually has some straight lines. Let me just take that on it right here. Funny how this thing goes up and looks like it's intelligently made, right? And of course, you've got other circles here and other whatever this is. To me, that looks intelligently made. Now, over here was amazing because as I'm looking at these other lines in here, piece coming down, what we did is we tried to do our best to squeeze this as much as we could so that we can see what looks like holes, folks. Look at this. Look at that right there. It looks like holes in this. If we go to the original, they're going to do their best to hide it, but it's right there. Check that out. I'm seeing what looks like holes in this. Like it was a hollow structure, folks. This came out pretty cool, too. Didn't even notice this until I started to bring this out. Is it actually there in the photo? It absolutely is. It's right there. Watch it carefully. I'm going to go back and forth with this. It's right there. Let me put it in the middle of the screen. Right there. It's right there, folks. Bring the lines out. And what you find is some weird-looking shapes, stuff like this in there. Again, make it super bright to the point where you don't really see any lines or anything. But folks, you didn't have to do anything. Just this alone, I thought blown apart structure. In my opinion, that's what it looks like. Back out a little bit and then look at the parts over here, right in here. I, like I said before, Mars has been destroyed, and they are up there for a recon mission. They're up there to see what kind of information or technology they can gather from Mars. It's nothing more than a recon mission. It's never been, oh, let's look at some soil and some rocks. They may be doing that now. Obviously, they want to see if they can actually 
you know, uh, live on the planet. So they may be doing that now, but that's not how this started off many years ago. This is not how this started off at all. This is definitely 100% a recon mission. You can see pieces like this. Look at this. Right here in the foreground. You've got smaller pieces right here. Have a look at that. Some other pieces here. Not sure what to make of that stuff. What is this lying right here? You can practically see the actual outline to this thing. Right here. Check this out. Okay. Now this might be multiple pieces. I'm not sure. Okay. But you can see that. Let's see what it looks like in the original. It's right there. See that? Let's go back and forth to the fully enhanced. It's right there, folks. Just bring it out. Just pop it. That's all you need to do. We're not adding the stuff here. We're not doing anything. It's not a pareidolia kind of exercise. This stuff is actually in the photo. Bring the lines back out that were originally in this photo, and you stop bringing out some incredible things. I'm just going to back out. Folks, pause it right here and have a look with your magnifiers. And there you go. Folks, like I said in my last video, I said that I believed that they had normal structures on Mars, above ground, everything was great. They probably had vehicles, maybe not exactly like we had, but maybe very similar. And then a catastrophe hit Mars, whether it be, you know, they're warring with some other aliens, whether it be some foreign body from outer space and just slam the planet. Uh, whatever it might have been, you can almost bet that the leftover civilization either burrowed into the ground or into hills, buttes, call it what you will. I'm not so sure this is a butte. I think this is an actual structure disguised as an actual butte or hill. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. I want to hear what you got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, got some more crazy ones on the way, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.